All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and this tutorial comes to us from our class, Procreate, how to draw, sketch, and paint on your iPad. So if you like the class and you want a course that'll take you from zero to hero, go ahead and check out the link below for a special price for our YouTube family. All right, let's go ahead and get after it. All right, gang, welcome back to Procreate. So in this lesson, we're gonna show you a more advanced concept. This is the concept of blend modes. Now, blend modes are in every single digital art graphics program known to man. So whether you want to do Procreate, whether you're going to do Affinity, whether you're going to do Adobe, whether you're going to do video, whether you're going to do Blender, it all revolves around the same thing. And there is no substitute for being able to just work with blend modes. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a canvas. And I could go through every single blend mode and you'd probably forget half of them before I even finished going through them. What I wanna show you is the ones that I use most frequently. And a lot of times I'll go through what I call blend mode roulette, which is I'm going to try all the blend modes to see if there's a technique that maybe works better that I hadn't thought about. I've been doing this now for many, many years and I still do not know every application for every blend mode. Anybody that can tell you that they can teach you that is absolutely lying to you. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just draw a couple things here. We're gonna come in with our pen, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the modified studio pen, and I'm gonna grab a color of gray. Let's call it 50% gray. And I'm gonna put down a gray circle I'm then gonna come over here and I'm going to put down in a new layer, let's go ahead and do a black square, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna create a red on a new layer. Triangle, looks like this. Fill that. And then let's go ahead and in one more layer, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a light green, let's say, diamond. Okay, make sure those are on separate layers. Yep, all right, we're good. Perfect. Now, what a blend mode does, it tells the layer how to interact with the layer immediately below it. So I know that's very confusing. Let me show you how this works. We're gonna go to layer two, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this thing and I'm gonna move it over top of the gray. Can we largely agree then that the black is on top of the gray? Now, when we make a blend mode adjustment, so I'm gonna click on the little N right here, you have different blend modes. The one that I use the most frequently for shading things is multiply. Multiply is the one you want when you shade things. Now, the other ones that are underneath it, multiply, Darken, color burn, linear burn, darker color. These are all going to look at the layer that is black and what it's going to tell it is interact with the darker layer. So you see the darker color is still on top. Linear burn, the darker color is still on top. Color burn, the darker color is still on top. Darken and multiply. Now, let's take this exact thing and now let's move into the lightens. Notice as soon as I hit lighten, the black disappeared. Screen, the black disappeared. Color dodge, the black disappeared. Add, black is still gone. And lighter color, the black is still gone. So what this is telling us is that it took a look at the black layer, it took a look at the gray layer, and it said between black and gray, which one's lighter? Clearly the gray. And so it said, eliminate the black. So let's take a look at another example here. We're gonna go ahead and even colors have different things. Oops, let's go ahead and change that blend mode back here to normal. Normal, by the way, is the default. That means no special blend mode whatsoever. Even colors like red have a darkness and a lightness. And then there are some blend modes that will differentiate by color. So let's go ahead and move this over top or underneath, I should say of the green, and now using the red, actually let's use the green because it's on top of the red, we're gonna come down here and we're going to try different blend modes. Notice the linear light, different than pin light, hard mix, just eliminated it. Difference is going to segregate it just like that. 
So all blend modes take the luminosity of the layer or the color of the layer or the value of the layer, and then it makes the decision for the green on how it should display. As an example, if I click on hue, notice here that it's going to take the hue of the green on top of the red, and because the white doesn't have any hue, it eliminated it. We can then even do the same thing with color, or we can do luminosity. Now we're talking about lightness and darkness, right? Because even though this green is a color, it still has a luminance value. If I was to turn it down to a pure black and white, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna make this a normal blend mode, because again, like me but don't trust me. And now, with that layer selected, let's come on in, go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, desaturate it, and now, if I took the red and I desaturated the red, what do you think is going to happen? Will the red be darker or lighter in pure luminosity when it comes to the green? The red is clearly darker. So you see, even though they have color, all colors have a certain amount of brightness or luminosity, and then you can adjust it from there, right? And then if we brought the saturation back up, notice how this changes as I start moving the red? That'll change there. So in reality, what I need you to understand is blend modes are set through the layer. You access them by clicking on in. And if you are doing art, the one that I use all the time for shading is the multiply. It is not the only one. And if I am doing highlights, I will either lighten or screen. So even if you don't get anything else from the lecture in terms of blend modes and you're super confused, let me show you how this works, kind of wrapping this thing up. I'm gonna come into here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab just this red and we're just gonna make a very solid red ball. Okay, ah, new layer. There we go, because I turned down the opacity and the luminance on the other. Okay, now, we're going to hold it, and remember what we did here? We make it a circle. Awesome. And now we're going to go ahead and shade it. We can largely agree that's a red ball, right? Now, I'm going to use Alpha Lock. Now, I haven't showed you that. That's coming up. And what that means is I'm not going to be allowed to draw anywhere else. And now what I'm going to do on that red ball, I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to create a little darker red. You see what we're doing there? And then I'm gonna come down and I'm going to grab my soft airbrush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and airbrush some shade on here. Okay. Now, you see how this is drawing? The reason it's drawing on top of the red is because I did not alpha lock that upper layer. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow editor back up. We're going to talk about that in the next lesson. But now watch what happens when I change the blend mode to multiply. Saw how harsh it was? Now I can come in and I can lighten it. Maybe a color burn is a better way to shade. So you can easily work with the blend modes and find the blend mode that gives you the best type of look. Now as I continue on, I'm getting a really nice red shadow on here. Now what happens if I come down a little further? And I'm not terribly concerned with how I'm shading this because quite frankly, this is just a demo. Now let's go ahead and create a light. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do something that's a little bit light. And I'm gonna change my blend mode over to, let's go to screen. Now we're gonna put some rim light on it. Okay, now, watch what happens when I change it over from screen. Lighten, screen, lighten, screen. You see how those are different? Then if I come down to color dodge, it's different. Add gives me a different effect. So when I say we play blend mode roulette, get, fil get familiar, editor back up, get familiar with the general categories but don't think that you're ever going to know every single blend mode in terms of everything that it does.
because quite frankly, you're never going to know. All right, let's go ahead and call it on this one. The only way to get good at blend modes is to work with them daily. All right, we'll see you in the next one.